Go ahead. Go ahead with what? Uh, can we start where uh, we left off? Can you, uh, you mentioned uh, yesterday or the other day when we did it afterward, you talked about your father going, they were asking your father about where you were at. <laughs> so you want to talk now what happened to our teacher, yeah? Yeah, I, well, I want you to talk about the time where, where, where when you escaped from prison, and they went to your father asking. Your father went to Vodava in prison, and then he went. Then he went to another Russian officer, and he. That's what you want. Yeah, you want yeah. to talk about so teacher. You not want to. You don't want to talk to about it. then when we uh, get, got out of jail. We went to, uh, um, to the bridge, and we didn't know where to go across the bridge or stay well, on. You, yeah, you can talk about that. Is that? You, but you'll. you'll what what you told me yesterday the other day is that after the bridge and, and things like that? Is it later on? Because I, yeah. I just want to make sure we capture that. Well, I, I I don't know I don't know how soon they found out that I escaped from from the prison. When they found out when that I was not in prison. They notify militia, security office in Vodava that I escaped. I got out of, of prison. So they must have arrested that time my father. How soon that, that was, I don't know. Maybe day, maybe week, or maybe two weeks. But anyway... They they called my father for uh, to question him to uh, to Vodava uh, security office of the security. It's just like a Russian KGB, but it was Polish in Polish language, Polish uniforms. So they my father went to Vodava. And they question about me. They ask me, where, where, uh, uh, where is your son? My father told them that he doesn't know where, where I was because he didn't even know that I escaped from prison. He knew that I was in prison, but he didn't know that. So they insisted that he must have come from Przemysl to Savatice. He is hiding in uh, in Slovatice. My father denied this. It was day, two, week, or maybe or month. I don't know exactly how long. After one month, or maybe even longer, they found they came to conclusion that they cannot get nothing of my father about my where I, uh, my, about my being. So one of, one day, when they call the, 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 the arrest, the, when they kept temporarily, it was in the basement. On the first floor and the second floor was the security office. So when the Polish Authorities couldn't get couldn't get couldn't get out of my from my father. One day, they called him back upstairs for to question him, and to my father's surprise, there behind the desk there was a Russian officer. And it was my father felt much much better about that. Why? Because. Before First World War, my father was drafted to the Russian army, not the Soviet Union army, because there was no Soviet Union at that time. It was Tsar's army, Mikovai II. When the war broke out, my father was serving in artillery. He was, uh, he was sergeant. And uh, his... Paul, his uh, Russian language spoken and written 
was perfect. So, when he noticed this Russian, of, uh, this Soviet officer, he started talking to him in Russian. And he told him right bluntly to him that what you have now in Soviet Union, you should thank me and others like myself. Because in 1917, when revolution broke out, in, in uh, Russia, our union, our, our uh, army unit was on, on the revolution side. And that's the reason he said that don't blame me and ask me where is my father because I couldn't get, I couldn't get any understanding from Polish authorities. Maybe you can under, understand me. His answer, <laughs> his answer was, "Okay, thank you. Go home." When he went home, when he got to Sovatice, my my brother. The youngest brother, Tadeusz, told me he was so skinny, he lost so much weight that he could pick him up with one, with one hand. And I don't know, that was, the re that was the reason or for another reason, or maybe he was getting old. Uh, old of course, it, he, at that time, he was uh, 50... 57 years old, 57 or 58 years old. And since that time, he was getting weaker and weaker. His rheumatic arthritis was getting worse and worse. And he says he blames Polish authorities because they kept him month or five weeks or month and a half in dungeon in, in, in that uh, wet, full of moisture basement. That's the story. That was the story. That was the story that what my father told me when he found out, and as a matter of fact, he found out from Polish authorities that I escaped from them. He didn't know from me. At that time, when he was interrogated, I was in partisans, in partisan unit, partisan platoon. The command commandant, the officer in charge of this unit, his pseudonym, was I forgot that uh, his his rank his rank was uh, lieutenant lieutenant but anyway I at that time I, when my father was questioned when he was in jail he was in in Vodava, I was around town Przemysl, and uh, I was in, uh, in the partisans. I was in forest. Uh, 